guess what? When you're out here RVing, RV fans, you never know when someone might come up and want to video you to be on TV. So guess what? Not only am I on YouTube, I'm on various TV channels this weekend with the tailgating. So here we are tailgating in Auburn, Alabama, and guess what? If you watch to the end of this video, you're gonna see what happened when the videographer showed up from the local TV stations. It's next state over, this state here, and they videoed yours truly, and it showed up on television, and multiple people have been ringing me off and saying, hey, I saw you on TV, I saw you on TV. So, you'll watch the production if you just keep watching. President of Qualys Corporation in Huntsville, Alabama, which is a defense and space systems contractor. Yes, sir. And are you a Huntsville resident or Auburn or Montgomery resident? Uh, Huntsville. Okay, Huntsville. Yes, sir. All right. So, Mr. Duke, can you tell me about um, tailgating at Auburn and what it means to you? Okay. Well, we look forward to it every year. We plan for it all year long. Uh, been doing it since 2000 when our daughter was a freshman. that we've had since uh, 2000 and uh, we just really love it. We like to come down on Thursday afternoon, first case, Friday morning and uh, we leave Sunday about noon and just have a blast. Yes sir and uh, what is it, tell me about like why it's so important to come out on Thursday and make sure that you're here the whole entire weekend. Okay well I'm going to show my age. Back in the old days you had to get here on Thursday to get a spot. You know but nowadays uh, with tailgate guys and all that, you reserve a spot, or at least we do these days. So um, it's not as important to be here on Thursday, but um, you know, it takes a little while to get set up, and you, know, you have to make a little trip to Wally World or somewhere. You know, you might have forgot something, so uh, it's good to get here on Thursday, especially if you're having friends coming over and uh, you want to get your tailgate. Yes, sir. And how excited are you for this tailgating season? Um, have you taken any breaks since 2000 or let me know? Uh, yes, there was a period of time where we were out of the RV business, if you want to say it that way. We sold our RV and went without for a few years. And uh, we missed it so much that we got back into it with a smaller RV. Now here we are with a Super C, you know, with two bathrooms and sleeps about nine and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we have room for, we have grandkids now, right? So our daughter who graduated here has three grandchildren. Our, our uh, son-in-law went to, went to school here at Auburn. So hopefully we got three more uh, there as well as uh, two from our other daughter that's going to come here someday. Yes, sir. And um, there's five consecutive home games. Tell me how you feel about that and what you're looking forward to and being out here on this RV. Well, uh, we've given that a lot of thought. Living in Huntsville, Alabama, Madison area there. It's a little hike down here. It's a little over four hour drive in this big monster, right? So uh, we're thinking about the middle game, just getting an RV spot here, stay in the week. So we don't do that driving back and forth. You know, the people that live from what? Birmingham, Montgomery on down, it's not a big deal for them to zip home in two hours and come back you know, the next weekend. But for us, uh, with five weekends in a row, we're probably gonna stay down here Yes, sir. And what's your favorite part about tailgating and anything that you'd like to add about what you're excited for this season? Well, the tailgating part leads up to the game, which leads up to the band and the excitement, which leads up to a W. So, Coach Harson, we're looking for a bunch of Ws this year. That's what's the most exciting thing. And then rolling to the Watching the Watching the kids roll it. Watching the little kids roll it. You know, the freshman, you know, who rolls it? The freshman, right? And the little kids, it seems like, is the most people out in the world. And maybe some old time. Yes, sir. Is there anything else you'd like to add? 
War Eagle. Thank you. are filling the campus with excitement. You can feel the excitement in the air on a Friday before game day. There's nothing like the game day experience at Jordan-Hare Stadium, as Auburn fans are well aware of. Fans are excited to start another season of tailgating, some starting as early as Thursday right here on the Plains. We've been doing this since 1968, so we've been at it a long time. The tailgating part leads up to the game, which leads up to the band and the excitement, which leads up to a W. So, Coach Harson, we're looking for a bunch of W's this year. What's new in 2022 are a few social media accounts and the app that fans are encouraged to follow to get live game day updates regarding road closures, traffic delays, gate opening reminders, and more. Downloading the app and following these accounts will help fans elevate their game day experience. Auburn Game Day, and you can find that on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, download the Auburn Tigers app. I figured that would be a great way to communicate. Auburn public safety officials remind the community of affected streets that will be closed or have an altered flow of traffic. These streets are, but not limited to, College Street, Dean Road, South Donahue Drive, Magnolia Avenue, Highway 14 or Martin Luther King Drive, Samford Avenue, and Wright Street. Auburn police want the community to know that they have been prepared well in advance for any game day congestion. Tomorrow's game against the Bears will be a whiteout and kickoff is at 6.02 here at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Reporting live in Auburn, I'm Gabriella Johnson for WTVM News Leader 9. All right, Gabriella, going to be an exciting time there on the Plains. Thank you so much for that live report.